So what we have here is the Katana Mark II demo. It's the clean channel. Variation button now off. So at this point, this should sound exactly like the clean on the original. And here's the original. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, Mark II and I'd like f to play some more clean, this time with the contour variation. So that's the contour off, now it's the contour one. and contour 30. On the video it's not as prevalent, but in person it's a much more different variation. Not in the variation, but... Variation button with the contour. Now we're going to do uh, crunch. And now the uh, original Mark I katana with crunch as a comparison. You might notice how the Mark One is slightly louder and a different slight tone. It's because the speaker's been um, ready used. So now this is a very new speaker, so it's of a tighter sound. Variation. Contour 2. And then 3. 3 sounds more bassiest. And now we're going to do a uh, full. Variation. 
contour one. Contour two. Care how fat that sound is. And variation with contrast. So now we're going to do full gain on the Mark 1 as a comparison on the Crunch Channel. It also sounds like the uh, distortion voicing is a little different. This is lead full gain. Then now lead at half gain. Now we're gonna head over to the Mark II and do the same test and see how that goes. Full gain lead. Now the contours with the full gain and lead. Get how different the contour is. So now off. It's brown. So now these are the uh, global settings. 
as you can see there's a green and then there's also um, these are parametric changes this is the orange and I'll show these on the amp in a second but what I wanted to show you is if you wanted to write these down if you have the original Katana Arners you could put these global settings in so you can do what this Katana Arners 2 is doing now so this is the crunch uh, the gains down oh sorry gains three quarters up and then these are the contours so I'm showing the contours now I'm showing you the global EQ with the contour. like play on this because <laughs> sound to me the best. compare that to the Mark 1 which I don't have to change any tones or settings um, well move it to crunch and I'm gonna adjust the uh, EQ to make sure it matches the original Just 
just noticed. I think my game was all the way up on this one. the guitar I was using, a Harley Benton, um, roasted maple, um, if you, now if you want to stop you can stop it now, the next stuff will be more metal and going over some cleans. <laughs> sound full gain uh, katana artist one now we're gonna move over to the katana artist mark two <laughs> button. Oh wait, first. Okay, now with it. No contour. Thank you. 
tell without <laughs> deep. how different that sounds.
you know, I try to go through all those sounds, but just 24 of them, and now the original ones. That's <laughs> the original artist's sound. Um, final thoughts on this thing. Um, I would say that if you're wanting uh, a amp that simple, uh, gets the tones that you want to get out of it, and you can find it used, the Cantana Artist, maybe $375, uh, $400, uh, that's worth it. Um, if you want the latest and greatest, the Cantana Artist Mark II, you get pretty much 24 different contours. Um, it's pretty much a Katana uh, 100, where it has the variation button in it, so you get those original five, which the original Katana has, then you have the variation added extra five, that's the 10. Um, and then now you have the um, three extra um, contour settings, which to me feels more like uh, tube voicings um, more than anything else because at number two it sounds very marshally uh, I would say three is very low endy maze a boogie um, I would say one is a slightly different voicing than um, the standard boss which would be off uh, that's what it sounds like to me and then you have the global EQs the global EQs it's cool but not cool the problem with the global EQ button is, let's say you liked one voicing of the amp at that particular EQ, you can't save that EQ for that one particular patch. The global changes everything across the board, in which I just showed you what the three global EQs are, voice that. So if you want to use any of those global EQ settings, you can just go and put that in. Um, yeah, final thoughts. Uh, this amp is new, six hundred dollars. Um, well worth it to me. Um, gives you a lot more variety. Gives you a lot more tone settings. Uh, if you're someone who's into cleans, I don't think it's worth getting. If you're into, um, I would say cleans, blues, you know, light crunch. Keep you know, the Katana Artist, or get a Katana Artist. Um, if you're someone who's into metal, like me, drop C tuning and stuff like that, that's where the Katana Artist uh, wasn't able, the original one wasn't able to hold up. Because the hitting drop C tuning, um, you had to do a lot of EQ tweaks. Now with a lot of this contour and things like that, I'm able to get the tone I want. Um, so it works well if you're someone who plays in really heavy distortion and if you're somebody who's into that, you know, really heavy metal. But if not, I'd say the other katanas work perfectly well because the voicing with the contours is so slight on the clean tones that you could just go in there and re cue it. Um, but yeah, those are my final thoughts. No one put this out there, so I just wanted to do it. All right, thank you.